He goes out today against the guy that's a four-time Washington State champion, kind of takes it to him out there, bumping up from 149 to 57. Can you talk about Tommy? Uh, you know, Tommy wrestled really, really hard on Friday, also against the, like, the, the fifth-ranked kid. So Tommy's, you know, I, I personally believe that 49 was too, he was making too much of a cut to, to be there. And Ian, we have Ian there, so we actually asked him to go 57. At that point, Maui just gives him fits for whatever reason. This opportunity came, we had a wrestle off this week to see where our 65 pounder would be in. I really didn't think it would be Sassy, but after he went to the tournament, he beat everyone in our, in our room pretty easily. All the other 57s and 65s we have, he beat pretty easily. Put him out there and he just fought. He fought his butt off and, and he's one of these guys that you look at and you sit back and say, all right, we might have a 65 pounder for the future. You know, it's one of those weight classes we're recruiting, we have other guys. If he can put 10 pounds of muscle on him, he's long, he's lanky, he attacks you, he's good on top, he's good in all positions. Um, I'm just real proud of the way he went on. He just competed. He was he did exactly what we wanted all ten guys to do. Um, he's one of those guys that if he would have wrestled that exact same match and the guy would have scored more points than him, I, been, I could have been talking the same way about him. I'm very proud of the way he competed and the way he fought and the way he hung in there. And and he's just a, a solid kid who you know academically has never had any issues. He's just one of those kids that represents who we are as Kent State. He's a kid that no one else recruited. We got him here and here he is beating a, lot, a, a guy from Ohio State that was a four-time state champion. And that's those are the kind of kids we, we live off of here at Kent State. Your thoughts on Nick? He's uh, 16, 17. I think it's 18 one maybe now. 18 one, something like that. He's very good. Uh, he gets another win today. He's ranked second in the country. Yeah. Just uh, your thoughts on him? Nick, like you said, we, you know we talk about all those Ohio State guys, how good they are. Nick was Nick got beat by. I would say now it's they've recruited three other really really good 125 pounders that who either haven't made it or aren't in their lineup or flunked out or whatever. Nick is one of those guys that we just keep working and keep working, and here he is. Was he a, considered a blue chip recruit? I'm not sure if he was a blue chip recruit. He was a, a, a top 20 kid. And he's just come here and he worked really hard and he's built a really, really special relationship with Coach Moore and, and you know what they do together, it, it defines also what, what Nick's all about. He's a kid that ultimately, where he's, where he's gonna be at the end of the year, I don't know. I think his goals are being in the, in the national finals and, and to win a national championship. And I think he's good enough when he's healthy to do that and when he's going on all cylinders. Um, Friday was just a bad match for him. It, you know, we, we knew it all week in practice. Like I said, that goes back to the schedule in Vegas and then having two real tough matches. Um, but Nick, I, 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 I have nothing bad to say about Nick except for next year he'll be on our staff and he'll be working with us and he'll be helping us train guys for the future like, like I'm doing now. And I think the world of him. He knows that and I think uh, he's back there right now. I had to, I had to send him a um, nasty uh, email, text message yesterday to get his, you know, stop feeling sorry for himself. And, did a great job today. Like I said, that kid did very little, and Nick just kept working and working and ended up getting a big win for us. And I've told him this from the day he got on our, our lineup. He's pretty much the, the ignition. If he gets going, he's wrestling good. Our team usually wrestles good. And uh, Friday was an example of that, along with today. Anything else for Jim? We got a couple can, wrestlers. Can you talk about uh, Brendan Barlow a bit? You know, he's kind of. <laughs> This year's kind of been a picture of his career, I guess. You know, he can beat almost anyone, and he can also, you know, lose some matches to some guys that he should be beating. But then today he comes out and really puts together a ton of offense, both on his feet and on the mat, and scores some points. Can you talk about him, the season he's having? And Brendan is a, a pure example of just us not having the same types of workout partners that he needs to, to be great. But on the same sense, we get Dustin back in about a week, and he'll be here for six weeks. and. That right alone will help Dustin as we go down the line. Um, you know, it's one of those things we've, we've tried to bring in so many different heavyweights for Brendan to work out with, and it's been tough. It's the hardest hardest weight to fill in college, in my opinion. If you're 240 pounds and you're a great athlete, you're not, you're not wrestling. You're playing football. Um, Brendan's one of those guys that he's a, he's a very very good athlete. He's he's fighting. He's done everything we've asked him. Um, he just misses Brendan probably more than the rest of our team misses him. As far as he misses Dustin more than anyone else because that was his workout partner in the last two years and uh, like I said we'll have him back and Dustin weighs about 220 he's only about 15 pounds lighter right now than than Brendan and they'll be able to go really hard for like I said six weeks and uh, that will help alone as far as his up and, up and downs I think I think once Dustin comes back that will help him that'll get him more consistent for the end of the year um, I know Brendan's very very excited about Dustin coming back I know that if you know Dustin, think about having him for six weeks the way he is is going to be a challenge for us because he's so hyper and he's all over the place. But ultimately, he's going to get our room better. This is this is a really, really important training session that we have for the next four weeks as far as we only have one or two competitions. Um, it's over break, so our kids don't have academics to worry about. And we've always have been very, very successful as far as our training for the four weeks in between semesters. And that's what's coming up, and that's when Dustin's going to be back here. So we're really looking to make, you know, to get healthy, 
to get our feet back under us and to really make a, a, another, another surge here as far as getting our, our team back into the top 12 to 15. I think that dual meet team, we've got a top 15 team dual meet, and I think national tournament, if we can stay healthy and do some things, I think we can squeeze in the top 10 if we just keep on working and get some of these guys like small to tee a little bit better and belly on to do some of the things we want. Ian Miller is a freshman, Brendan Barlow. Brendan Barlow can beat anybody in the country. That's how heavyweight is right now. We just have to make sure we're getting them to, to wrestling as best at the end of the year, and that's the key with all our guys. Thank you. Nothing from you, Sam? Amazing. Came in late. <laughs> I don't want to re-ask anything. All right, we'll be joined by uh, Ian.